in their territory. Females vocalize to identify their pup on a crowded beach. The mother will vocalize and the pup will return her call. Now the sea lions also identify one another through a breath exchange. And this behavior looks a whole lot like a sea lion. If you see an external ear flap, you are looking at an ear seal just like you. Ear seals also have long, strong front flippers, which they use to pull themselves through the water, just as we use our arms when we go swimming. Now they use their hind flippers for steering. Sharks are in some serious trouble right now. 
Due to overfishing, some species have decreased by as much as 80%. And at this rate, many could soon die out. Duke, are you clapping? He's clapping. No, no, don't encourage him. I know that sheds decreasing might sound pretty good from a sea lion's point of view, but in the long run, it won't be good for anyone. Because when shark populations fall, nature's balance is upset, and the entire food chain could be threatened. Aww. Aww. That's right, you guys. So as strange as it sounds, we need sharks. In fact, all species need one another in order to survive. Now, in the wild, California sea lions spend a large part of their lives avoiding predators and chasing prey. They use a method of swimming called porpoising, where they leap out of the water, take a deep breath, dive back in, and continue with their forward momentum. They use those strong front flippers to pull themselves through the water, and they can reach speeds in excess of 15 miles per hour. But life here at the aquarium is just a little more laid back. See what I mean? I mean, think about it. No predators, plenty of fish, and we trainers pretty much cater to them all day long. And with all of this nurturing, our relationships grow a little stronger every day. Let us show you what we mean. Hit it! every time. You can tell that our sea lions and trainers are very good buddies. And you could say that this relationship is based on trust. Duke trusts Christina, and Christina trusts Duke. <laughs> Christina trusts Duke so much that she can place a fish in Duke's mouth, and Duke won't eat it. Wow, nobody is impressed by this. and we don't need your sympathy. But we would like to see you try this at home with your dogs and the state. Good luck. All right, Christina, it looks like we might need to take this up a notch. Christina can even turn her back on Duke, and she knows when she turns back around, that fish will be right there in Duke's mouth. our relationships with the animals is through enrichment. Enrichment enhances their daily lives in many ways, and it comes in many forms. That toy right there just happens to be one of Duke's favorite enrichment items. Sometimes it's hard to tell who's having more fun, our sea lion or his trainer. is training, as it compels our animals to think through complex problems, so training is mentally stimulating. High energy behaviors help keep them physically fit. And of course, training enables us to bring them out into our aqua theater, so we can share with all of our guests the respect we have for these amazing animals.
joined out in our aqua theater by another of our sea lion celebrities.